Hey friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling blessed and staying in God's presence. And if not, I hope you feel uplifted after today's video. If you're new here, welcome to His Princess Christian Community, where we read a chapter of the Bible every day and then discuss it afterwards and in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and it opens the door for more people to join our community. And while you're at it, check the description box. We got a lot of great stuff in there. So today we're reading Psalms chapter 87, but before we get started, I wanted to say a prayer if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together here on His Princess Christian Community. Thank you for opening the door for people to join our community, for connecting us and strengthening our bond. Thank you for opening our eyes, our ears, our hearts, and our minds to your word. Thank you for your wisdom, understanding, and clarity as we seek to interpret your word. And thank you for the courage to apply it to our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Psalms chapter 87. On the holy mountain stands the city founded by the Lord. He loves the city of Jerusalem more than any other city in Israel. O city of God, what glorious things are said of you. I will count Egypt and Babylon among those who know me. Also Philistia and Tyre and even distant Ethiopia. They have all become citizens of Jerusalem. Regarding Jerusalem, it will be said, everyone enjoys the rights of citizenship there, and the Most High will personally bless this city. When the Lord registers the nations, he will say, they have all become citizens of Jerusalem. The people will play flutes and sing, the source of my life springs from Jerusalem. Amen. So what did you think of Psalms chapter 87? I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Let me know what your insights are on the chapter or your interpretation. Maybe comment your favorite verse or just say hi and let us know that you're part of the community. Maybe comment your favorite emoji. And if you need prayer, make sure you put that in the comments too so we as a community can pray together. Or if you've been blessed, let us know because we'd love to rejoice with you. So Psalms chapter 87 is really short and when I, as I was reading it, I was like, what am I going to say about this? Um, but then God reminded me of um, Jerusalem and the power of it. And it's easy for us to remove ourselves from the history of where the Bible has come from. And you know, I always hear about people who go on the Jesus walk and kind of walk in his steps through, you know, Jerusalem and they visit Bethlehem and, and all these places. And, you know, it really stands to realize, to, to pay attention to the history of the Bible and where it comes from. While it's a living book and we can apply it to our daily lives, this chapter really reminds me to um, pay homage to where it came from and make sure that I am I'm acknowledging that as I'm reading through the Bible. And it says, everyone enjoys the rights of citizenship there. And the Most High will personally bless this city. And I'm thinking of the kingdom of God in this moment. Just the fact that we are all citizens of the kingdom of God. And that at once, at one, at soon, we, while we here on YouTube are all over the world. You know, there's people in Australia and Canada and all over the United States. We have people, you know, everywhere um, watching, you know, just this channel or, you know, different churches all over the world. But yet, um, at one time, we are all citizens of the kingdom of God. And it's just amazing that the source of life sprung, it says springs from Jerusalem, but we are all going to be part of the kingdom of God. And I just love that. And, you know, I'm finding a hard time thinking of anything else to really pull out of this chapter um, other than just the fact that we need to really um, get to know the history of where Jesus came from where this Christian walk started and just connect with it on a deeper level. And this psalm is just really um, prompting me to do more of that is to, you know, just, you know, seek back into the history of where it all started and where it all came from. So that is my interpretation of Psalms chapter 87. I'm interested to hear what you have to say about it. Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you stay blessed, stay in God's presence and have a great rest of your day. I love you.